Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing well. Uh, one of the subscriber, uh, his name is Saurabh Gupta. He asked me to do a session on uh, parallel execution of cucumber test and how to maintain the unique values between the unique values for the variables between the steps. So uh, that's why uh, I'm doing this session. And in this session, initially, let's go through how you can run the cucumber test from Maven by using Maven. And then uh, we can introduce uh, another attribute called fork count to execute the test uh, parallelly. So let's go into the session now. Let me share my screen. Okay. So um, when you are when you want to execute uh, your cucumber test from Maven, so you always need to have test runner. I think uh, previously I have explained in the previous sessions I have explained uh, how to create a test runner and how to run the uh, test from IntelliJ using this test runner. But uh, you didn't have any IDE on uh, CI, right? So you need to choose to run the test from Maven. So when you want to run the test from Maven, you need to have a specific profile uh, for your Cucumber test. Like um, when it comes to real environments, you might uh, want to execute uh, CI, CI tests or functional tests normally, where um, only your service is real and uh, all other components are mocked. So we will have another set of tests as well, integration tests and all other kinds of tests, circuit breaker tests, etc. So uh, what we do is we maintain different profiles for different kinds of tests. So that's why I have included a section called CI test here. Um, and I'm using uh, Maven failsafe plugin for running the Cucumber test via Maven. And also my goal is verify because you are uh, in the phase of verification of your functional test. And um, so I have configuration here. Let me comment out this for now because we don't need fork count yet because I'm just going to run the test from Maven. So in this configuration, I have two sections. One is excludes and the other one is includes. So includes is um, you are including a pattern which contains like test runner and uh, with extension Java. So it will find all the classes with that um, test runner in runner classes name and tries to execute all, uh, all the runners with that name, test runner. And also I'm asking it to exclude the pattern blah test runner. I don't have anything uh, that says blah test runner. So it won't exclude anything, but in real scenario, if you have any classes that you want to exclude and from CI test, you can use this exclude section and mention your class name pattern there. So, and then um, I'll come back to system properties in a later session, but um, now we have a dependency here, which, uh, which is JUnit4 because Cucumber only supports JUnit4. It doesn't have support for uh, JUnit5 yet. So you have to include that dependency for running your uh, Cucumber test runners. So yeah, I have included the test runner, so which I have it here. So this test runner doesn't have any specific tags associated with it. So whatever I have, whatever the scenarios I have in my feature file, it's going to execute everything. So let me go to command line and run the test now. So hope you got the gist of it. So I have a profile called CI test and I have a plugin called failsafe plugin and my goal is verification and I'm including the classes that I want to um, include in my CI test and uh, dependency being the JUnit4 because Cucumber only supports uh, JUnit4. So now I have that profile for running the uh, tests via Maven. You need to execute this command. Maven clean, uh, verify is your goal and your profile name is CI-test. So this will pick up all the tests that you, sorry, all the scenarios that you have defined in the feature files because your runner class is not excluding any uh, tags or it doesn't have uh, 
ask for including only specific tags so it's going to run everything okay now you can see it has run five tests i don't know what they are okay yeah um you can see it has picked up the um tests and calculating sum of 5 and 10 expected sum is 15 i just added some print statements for uh, our understanding so it has executed those tests uh, calculation of sum and all so uh, it has executed five scenario five tests you can see test run is five so here i have three examples which is three scenarios and i have one more example here so three plus one four and i have one more scenario here so total five tests it has run so that is uh, running via Maven. So let's say you have like um, in this test, you have several examples, right? So you you want to tag them as Bhavani one. And also you want to execute some other tests like you want to calculate 50 and 100, uh, which is 150, 100 and 250 is 350, 50 and 60 is 110. So you can, uh, you want to tag them as Bhavani 2 and this one as Bhavani 3 and I have another scenario which I will tag it as Bhavani 4. So now you can see I have like, um, <coughs> sorry, several tags, uh, Bhavani 1, Bhavani 2, Bhavani 3 and Bhavani 4. So I don't, if I execute all of them in sequence, I mean, these are like simple uh, calculations, A plus B and uh, calculating the sum. But in when it comes to real scenarios, you would have uh, lots of calls involved. Like for example, you might want to get the countries and verify each and everything in that uh, list of countries that you got back from your API. And you will have several steps to verifications and all. So if you try to execute everything in sequence, it's going to take a long time. So that is the reason uh, you, you need to execute them in parallel when it comes to CI test because CI test, uh, if it takes more than like two to three minutes, um, you are not really maintaining efficient tests. <laughs> so, um, and even devs, um, devs won't like long running tests because they want to have quick feedback on the pipeline soon after they check in they want a uh, test to be successful or fail like within five minutes so um, for that reason you you need to run the tests in parallel so what i'm going to do i have a test runner here right so i'm going to introduce a tag section here tags equal to I need to include this inside. So I have tags and I'll tag this with Bhavani one. Is my syntax not correct? Okay, let's say uh, like that tags. So I want this test runner to execute only Bhavani one. So there are several ways uh, to run the tests in parallel, but um, this is one of the way I'm explaining. Maybe in the next session, um, we could use Ruby parallel gem and integrate it with Java uh, Maven profiles, but I'll do another session on that. So I have test runner one and in a similar way, I'll say I want test runner two as well, which will run, uh, which will run Bhavani two. And I want test runner three, which will run, <coughs> which will run Bhavani three. And yeah, I'll stop with this runner. So test runner four, which will run Bhavani 4. 
and also when you are running the tests in parallel you want your reports to be uh, properly archived as well so i will uh, i'll do another session on how to maintain unique reports for the <coughs> given test runners sorry um okay so now i have four test runners and here i'll go here to my form.xml and i will enable this configuration called four count so four count is number of threads you want to execute um, your test via so here i want only four threads because i have only four runners which i want to execute so um, that's all you need to say like this is four count and also uh, when you are running uh, tests in parallel we i mean many people will have a doubt that how are these like we are calling everything as a b and sum how are these values going to be set differently for each scenario so here we have a test context and we have we are, we are using google juice to inject that uh, dependency test context and also this test context if if you go to that class we have tagged it with the uh, scenario scoped so when you say uh, a particular class is scenario scoped the the variables inside uh, that class will live live only for that scenario so um, each scenario you have here will be treated differently for uh, example is you have several examples but they are different they are really different scenarios so um, this is one scenario this scenario values won't conflict with this scenario because you are using a scenario scope which is cucumber juice annotation um, which is required for dependency injection and maintaining the state uh, between the steps maintaining the state in the sense like for example in the first step you call the rest api and obtain the response and in the second step you want to use that response object for your assertion so for the whole of this scenario the context information about your variables uh, will be maintained so um and again this will be treated as a completely different scenario and a completely different context altogether so you have no uh, question of overlapping when you use cucumber juice for uh, dependency injection uh, you can also use spring for dependency injection but um, in this we have uh, the whole framework using cucumber juice so i'll just uh, leave it as is for now so that's how the uniqueness is maintained so now um, i have the parallel running sorry parallel for count enabled so let's see what happens now <coughs> and execution command will be the same command so um, and i need to update readme as well so i'll update readme before i check in my changes and this project is in github so if you want to uh, if you want to check you can check my github bhavani magam's github and um, so you okay so you have tests run very fast like uh, it took only time elapsed is how much 0.001 seconds is that true possible okay so i think we need to combine it doesn't have total thing so one of the runner took 0.001 0.001 0.002 and one of the sweet took 11 seconds and also you need to organize your tags in such a way that you distribute uh, the load evenly across your uh, test runners what i meant is so for example here as part of uh, bhavani 1 you are running three tests bhavani 2 you are running three tests bhavani 3 it has only one test and also uh, bhavani 4 has only one test so you have to evenly distribute the load um, like for example you can run two scenarios as part of each run, each um, test run and you need to tag your scenarios appropriately to do that so uh, you can see it uh, finished in few seconds let's look at the um, last run i'm trying to find okay anyway i can execute without parallel count so i just want to execute uh, the test without parallel count to see how much time it takes 
I mean, these are very little tests, so it shouldn't take long. Uh, but still, uh, using parallel threads makes a lot of difference. Okay, so it took in total 0 0.058, 0 0.046, 0 0.01 and 10. 10. Yeah, it's, it, it's definitely more than uh, what we were seeing previously. <coughs> previously, when we run the uh, tests in parallel, everything is running parallelly. So you would have uh, this time, time elapsed will be less as part of each runner. So um, that's how you run the test parallelly. And also, uh, I mentioned that there is system properties here. So when, when it comes to um, any kind of test, you want to execute them, you want to be able to execute them against uh, several environments. For example, integration uh, tests. Integration tests, you want, um, you will have several environments, like um, we have several environments. So you might also do have several environments. So. These system properties will be useful in that case. Uh, let's say, for example, I want to supply, I want to control uh, which environment I would run the test via ENV. So though you say ENV uh, hard-coded to CI in this uh, profile, you can always override your environment from uh, the command line and say, I want to run test against integ. So it will run against integ environment. How it will run against integ, integ environment is, uh, I am not sure if I have property files. Okay, so you can control uh, this via properties file. Maybe we can go through this in the next session. I don't want to, um, you know, <laughs> just say some words in the air. So I'll show you properly. So I'll check in this uh, project to GitHub now. So you guys can take a look how the parallel execution works and how you can distribute the test load um, between several test runners. Okay, then um, let's meet with the next session. And also if you need, if you are looking for any specific tutorials, please mention um, as a comment on the videos that I do so that I, would, I will get to know what you are looking for and I can do the videos uh, specifically for that. Okay, thank you. Bye for now.